So Jordan and Octaviante racing through that opening game, 21-8. What can the Danes do? In the back. And a little bit of trickery from Praveen Jordan. And I suppose what the Danes have to hold on to Morton, is that sometimes Jordan can go off the boil. He goes on oh, water yes. yeah. walkabout sometimes, doesn't he? Seriously, walkabouts. Yeah. I agree. Oh. I don't think you should try and hit it through Praveen Jordan at the net. No. Painful example here for Malon. It's coming so quick. Yeah, well worked by the Indonesians. And well, just to put this whole match in perspective with it two all in the overall mm. tie. Both of these teams qualified for the quarterfinal knockouts yes. there, which is the top two in your group. But if you're not seeded, then you could meet the might of China. Japan. In, or Japan yeah. in the quarterfinal stage. Yeah. So your chances of getting a medal is so much smaller. So much smaller. Yeah. But one team has twice won the Sudaman Cup when losing in the group. Korea done it in 17. Twice in 17. Because right. we, we, when I say we, I was the coach for Malaysia and we beat Korea in the group and then at uh, the uh, at the draw we got them again in the quarterfinal and lost the quarterfinal to Korea and they went on to win it. They also did so in 2003. They lost to China in the group and then they beat China 3-1 in the final. Mm -hmm. So it's not the end of the world. No, no. But it's an <laughs> awfully lot more difficult. It is. Octaviante. Yeah, she's very hard to pass um, in the mid-court area. She, she's reading the, the game very well on the mid-court area and tough to pass and this was a really fine example of it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to allude to in, in the opening game. She has this sort of ability like Hindra Setia one mm. where she just instinctively seems to, to know where the shuttle's coming. She doesn't seem to be a particularly fast mover on court, but she's always there in the right place at the right time. When do you ever see Seti one looking really rushed in his movement? <laughs> but he's there. He's always there. Similar with her. drill in the middle of that rally yeah. by the two male players. Uh, Thomas Stango shouting, everything is good, well played. Hang in. I like that coaching. Oh, 
that bounced off the top of the tape. Oh, no wonder they're happy. Watch this, it's thunders off the tape. Four straight points. That was good play from the Danes. They really upsetting the formation of the two Indonesian players and they capitalised on it. They played well. Good rally from the Danes here. Yeah. Wasn't the best of serves. They got what it deserved. You don't want to flick it, do you? No. Oh, dear me. That's that second time, isn't it? I remember a service error from Octavianti. Has Praveen John made a service error before? I thought so, but I have made a note of it, I must say. Mm. Trouble. <laughs> trouble for the Danes. Trouble, trouble. Yeah. Strong interception from Jordan. Yeah, proving your point again, Morton. Octavianti yeah. on those half court pushes. She's she was good. on them. Yeah, she's good. Seven of the last nine points to the Indonesians. That's well taken, I like that. Attacking play from Praveen Jordan. Wonderful angle. Had a much better performance from the two Danes now compared to the opening game. Yeah. As many points at the mid-game interval as they had in the whole of the opening game. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Thank you. This is the final point for the mid-game interval. Look at the elevation. And watch this final shot from Praveen Jordan. No, I don't think there's any player in the world that would have got that back. It's fabulous. And it's all happening here in Vanta. Beautiful city of Vanta, just north of Helsinki. Fourth largest city in Finland. Well, 
Ah, oh, it's only a couple of points in it now. Yeah, that one's skipping the top of the tape from uh, Matthias Tui. Oh, my goodness. That's halfway down the net. Turn of the flick serve. And the back level. Good work by the Danes. Four of the five points since the mid game interval. That's out. It's also important for the Danes to keep the pressure on uh, on Jordan in terms of scoreboard as well, because otherwise he is just playing one magnificent win after the next. Yeah. Mm. Over pushing again. Yes. Too eager. Indonesian combination is really good when Octavianti is serving. She's serving very, very steady. And chances are a lift might come. See, good see again. Yeah, it's below the below net the, height, yes. the tape height yeah. of the net when she's playing that. Which means you do have to hit it in an upward direction. Somehow, and you have then the choice of trying to pass Octavianti on, on the half court, or you have to lift to Jordan. Well, You've got two choices. It's a lesson of two evils, really, isn't it? It is. And that's why I say I, I really feel that this, when, when she's serving, they are very, very good. Look at that once again. Yeah. She's having a purple patch at the moment. Here's Octavianti. So having lost four or five points since the mid-game interval, suddenly a run of five points for the Indonesians. Yeah. Good awareness. That's a better rally. Landed in. Oh, it's a good shot from Thierry. Sometimes when we are watching Praveen Jordan, it's tough to read his body language, isn't it? You know, you mm. you don't really know what's happening, and uh, I honestly feel that. You know, today he he's sort of <clears throat> excuse me sending the signal that you know I'm here, I'm here to win, I'm serious about it. Uh, something that we don't see that often 
it, it, it's not saying that he's not serious about it, but it's seldom that he's showing it. I think he's a little bit nervous though. That's a great return of You think he's nervous? I do. Okay. That can put an extra spring into your legs. Mm. I think he's been helped an awful lot by his partner, Walter Vianti. I've been very impressed from that 12-all situation. Her serving and her reading of the game, I think has helped calm the nerves a little bit. Oh, so good rally. Match point opportunities. Four opportunities uh, to have a seeding spot at the quarter-final knockout draw for former champions Indonesia. Oh, oh that's a great shot. Yeah, good return. Second time of asking, and Indonesia win the tie by winning this mixed doubles in the form of Jordan and Octavianti. 21-8, 21-17 against Turi and Melun. Umpire just confirming that scoreline, 33 minutes in total. And that was very, very important.